Brian and Kenzie in the morning and Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Go! And you just heard Bush there, and we will have Bush for Ticket Blitz Thursday at 8 o'clock today. We launch Ticket Blitz Thursday. That'll get you that show at Northerly Island with Yellow Card. We'll do that at 8 and 9 o'clock. Hold and on. Is it Bush or is it Third Eye Blind? Oh, why was I saying Bush? <laughs> oh, you damn. Know, I feel so much better because I'm like, oh, I really thought I was third eye blind. I, don't, I must have been tired last night reading my emails. Okay. I was even going to question you. I'm like, well, I'm an idiot, obviously. Can we start over? Do you want to do a take two? Do you want to go home and then just no, come back tomorrow? Let's go. Why don't refresh? you play the theme song again? Let's do it again. We'll start it over. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. <laughs> Ahoy! Let's go! We wake it up, Chicago! Turn up the radio! It's time to start the show! On Q101! Let's go. All right. Good morning, Brian. It's so good to see you. 603. And, you know, I just played Bush there before we got started. And uh, that's Ticket Bush Thursday it. today. <laughs> that's the last thing we're doing with Bush all day. Uh, <laughs> and forget, I, forget about him. I can say that I remember seeing Bush perform with Third Eye Blind at Q101 Twisted back in 2003 or four, I believe. And it was incredible. They both went at it to compete. And I can't really say who won that battle because both were incredible performers. So Ticket Butts Thursday today will be Third Eye Blind and Yellow Card at oh, Northerly Island. Bush is also playing there, just on a different day in August. Well, Bush, this is a Bushless ticket. Yeah, that's a Bushless ticket. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. God, listen, I did the red line double header yesterday. I've never done that in my life off my bucket list, which means seeing the Cubs game in the day and the White Sox game at the night. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Third Eye Blind or Bush weren't in there at all, actually. They didn't play. Nope, believe it or not. I listened a little bit in between. In the between games, had a couple, about two hours to shower up and regroup and get to the White Sox game. Did you game. shower between games? I did. Interesting. I had to, because we left the Cubs game. I felt like I took a shower at the Cubs game. Yeah. Drenched. Poor Just, Harper. I saw the pictures of Harper. She was as red as a raspberry. She, tur- she, she turns did. red quick. Good heavens. Yeah. Like, get her home. I was like, do you want out of there? She's like, No. I go, okay, we're staying then. I guess you know better than I do. We'll help your health. We're alive. Yeah. Fine. Well, we were uh, covered, so she wasn't right in the sun there. But man, it was, it was hot. But um, that was that was amazing. We'll talk more about that in sports. But how it was, uh, what an incredible experience. I've always wanted to do that. Happens once or twice a season, and I never did it. And there you go. And I saw a lot of people that did the same thing when I was getting the White Sox game. A lot of our listeners uh, were going in, and they said, "Yeah, I'm doing it too." And I'm like, "All right, but woo, exhausting." Here we are, well, though. Obviously. Here we are. <laughs> obviously, you're very tired. Yeah. Well, it's like, and also, I guess, you know. You know it's like you need a day off after all that. No, no, <laughs> no. People are doing real jobs out there. I'm just eating hot dogs I mean, <laughs> and watching Wait, baseball. I just need to relax after all those hot dogs. Woo! Eating at both ballparks is more impressive than watching the baseball game in both ballparks, I'll tell you. <laughs> is you really, you're exhausted, you poor thing. Oh, I know. We tuck you in last every, night. It's yeah. Yeah. Everybody can really get, we're going to go fund me for me to get a, Get a nap in later on. <laughs> I know. People are going to give you money to take a nap. <laughs> you should have taken a personal day. It's a lot to deal with, all, you know, doing all that yesterday. Oh, man. So a lot to get into today. Of course, like we mentioned, uh, the NASCAR street race tickets coming up in about an hour and 710. So that's for uh, Clash with Kenzie, where if you beat her, you get those tickets. And the Black Keys only performance I know of on the books since they canceled their tour. But they are performing NASCAR weekend, July 4th weekend, which is only about a week and a half away. That's insane. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Time for a fact that makes your brain uh, just go. Now, there's been a lot of talk lately about people that have been working from home since the pandemic. And then some companies would say, well, we're going to get everybody back to work. You got to get back in the office. And then even that slides at some point. 
where they first thought they'd get everybody back all five days a week. And listen, you guys out there can answer this question better than we can because we have to be in this room to talk. We're yes. coming to work. So now there's our, there, you, you know what, though? Us. You know what? There's other radio shows that don't do that. They stay at home. Name them. Uh, I'm not going to get in there. Those uh, off. All of them? No, there's, the there's, there's, a, there, there, there's a lot of people that don't come in the studio. Like during the pandemic, I believed in fo- fully coming in here. I didn't miss one day and, until I got COVID. But I didn't miss, <laughs> I didn't miss oh, one I day. Stayed, they had me stay home during the pandemic, but I was a, I was a one-woman band. Yeah, it's a little different that situation. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't a back-and-forth situation. I was like, well, I can just talk to myself in a room yeah. in my room. But I, 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 I fir- you know, it doesn't really matter the room. But I firmly believe being here, it's a, it's a better show. It's better when we're in our room here. And it is because we can do more here. Anyway, not to get sidetracked. I don't even know how many of our listeners completely work from home or have a hybrid schedule. I'd love to hear from you on that at 312-591-8300. But employers are now doing a, a, a new thing to lure you back to work. And we'll tell you what that thing is at 630. It's a special thing. I know. I totally. Oh, you know it? I bet I know it. Okay. You want to guess? I won't give a reaction either way. It's what every company does whenever there is, you know, Racism or, you know, sexual harassment. Mm. Or you have a pizza party. <laughs> <laughs> they think it answers. Or people want to raise. Uh. They're like, well, we ordered pizza. <laughs> they do a racist pizza party? <laughs> no, that whenever there's a complaint, they're like, you know what will fix this? Instead of ever addressing, like, the issue. I got to admit. It's a pretty good answer. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you give me free pizza at work? You know, hey. Listen, I'm not going to name drop, okay, but I worked at a different company before. And I've worked at a lot of companies, like, across the board, mm. you know, across the United States. So yeah. I was working at a different company, and there was this whole thing about, like, really needing raises because they were making us do shows in all these cities, and I was doing seven different radio stations at once, yeah. all custom, right? And we want everyone wanted a raise. Like, well, we don't have money. But they had recently given every single employee a coffee mug with the name of the company Ooh. on it. And I go... Can I get a raise if I give my coffee mug back? <laughs> and I got in so much trouble for asking that. It was unbelievable. You don't realize the $10,000 that went into this coffee mug, Kenzie. Well, they just, like, I was like, well, you know what? Nobody, you didn't need a, pr- there's buckets of them in the damn hallway. <laughs> and, like, everybody just wants a raise. Stop printing off merch. Okay, here's where we're starting. Negotiating point starts at a coffee mug <laughs> to your $10,000 raise. I don't a coffee mug. <laughs> so, Kay, she thinks it's a pizza party. What do you think is yeah. going to lure people back to work? Oh, I think it's, I think she's right. I think it's food, but I think it's breakfast. I think people want breakfast sandwiches at the office. That's going to get them in and start their day off right. God. And when there's racism, they also bring in breakfast sandwiches. Or sexual harassment. Yeah, that's right. By the way, that's, that was a personal experience for me. I know they bring in pizza with their sexual harassment. (laughs) Listen. I can promise you it happens. Both things, I would forgive the parties. Oh, God, yeah. Involved. You give me pizza or a breakfast sandwich? (laughs) You guys, listen, we all make mistakes. You guys. Are okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys check in 312 591 8300. I'm curious on how many people listen at home on the smart speaker, which you can listen to Q101 Remember anywhere on our app, the smart speaker, the iHeartMedia app, you know, iHeartRadio, anything you can, you know, you can't miss us if you don't want to. You know, we're there for you. So, um, but the one thing that employers, a new little thing they've come up with to get you to come back in the office, we'll tell you what that is in six minutes. <laughs> The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Well, time for a fact that makes your brain go. And a lot of our listeners work hybrid, and, and a lot of we've heard from them in different situations of how you go back to work somewhat. You have some have a job you can't work from home, but there's companies obviously trying to get still people back from work after COVID, after the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And uh, Kenzie guessed that this thing to get people back in was a pizza party. Uh, not correct. A great guess. Case guessed a, uh, breakfast sandwiches. Not right either. You both guys went with food. Now, they have a lot of companies out there. Maybe people know this. Really fancy coffee waiting for you in the morning. Like the good stuff. Yeah. A little Dunkin' waiting for you there. Uh, that's, I don't know if that's work. Yoga classes, DJ parties. I'm not coming into work to work out. That sucks. It's two things I don't want to do. Yoga, I'll tell you what, yoga, I've wanted to become a yoga person. Have you? And then I tried it. It's hard. Yes, Brian. I thought it was like relaxing. <laughs> he just wanted to lay there and take a nap. He saw those mats that are running from kindergarten. Yeah. Like, this is going to be awesome. This and is the best workout. Everybody looks so happy stretching. 
But it hurts. Yoga is tough. Yes. Yes, it is. No joke. I, I know. So I stopped. Uh, of <laughs> well, course. <that's> good. <laughs> we can't challenge ourselves. Uh, not yet. So, and then that, none of those things really worked at this point, but now there's a new wrinkle, what they want to get people in there. And this is, I guess, worked in a couple situations. Companies to get you come back to work are giving you your very own personal, really nice desk. Oh. Everyone already has desks. Not everybody. What happened is in a lot of these corporate environments in the last five years, they put these cool offices together where everybody is in one big room with desks, not cubicles, but sometimes like a round area. I saw this at the last place I worked at. They redid it. And they said, everybody changes desks every day. So that way it'll create a better environment of communication. Everybody get to know each other better. And the, the only one person, the biggest guy in the company at his office, no one else. So that way, when you're on the phone, you also don't feel like you're going to say anything, you know, maybe negative on the phone to somebody else if you have other people around. And I think people thought this cool office vibe was going to take off, and it didn't. People hate it because there's no privacy. I don't have my own area where I can put up pictures yeah, of my you kids. You also can't, like, just leave a few things at work. You have to, like, pack yeah. up every day. Your desk is not your desk. You share it. And I think here we definitely have... People have their own desks, I'm pretty sure, here. We, there's a couple offices that are shared, I know, down the hall by us. Listen, I don't mean to be negative, but that's an ass way to get me back to work. You give you a, a desk? desk? See, you give me a nice desk, I'm I'm coming back to work. I Like you just said, I have my little they area. They with the pizza party. Mm. Well, they might put pizza on your desk. That's fine. There we go. Now we're doing something. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that sucks. but having your area, having your own area and a nice desk is getting some people to come back to the office. That's like a, that's, that should just happen. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, so. like I, but like I said, it was a huge trend and, and many offices. I know people that work in some too. You could probably relate. They made this big open space office. You know why they saw it? Because places like Google and Facebook have offices like this and they have like maybe a pop a shot around and a dartboard and things like that. You know, it's I don't know. Like, well, it's kind of the WeWork model. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, we're supposed to be so cool. And all these independent people had an office, but like. Maybe some people like that. I don't know. I think but people like space. I think people like having their space. Yes. And that's what this desk is doing. Like, <laughs> I, I know. That's what these desks are. They're putting in the work. Yeah. I. Like, I know when I want to be social and I know when I don't. So I don't like being forced into being social. That's exhausting. Yeah. And I think uh, people like their little private time, too. Or like I said, you go to your desk. I could put my earbuds oh, in, do whatever. Your doctor calls you and you have to pick up. Yeah. Like, come on. I get like an ounce of privacy. I have the results. <laughs> You're like, good, Negative. <laughs> Is negative good? I don't know what's good. <laughs> you can't ask any questions. Start like, screaming. I'm in the middle of a cafeteria that they're calling an office. I can't ask any questions. Oh. I mean, Casey, I mean, you work here. You have your studio. And I'm actually thankful here because we have our own studio and not a lot of radio people have that. They they share a studio with everybody all day. We have our own, then Lauren and Brian Phillips, and they share another room next door to us. Not that I want to be in their studio. I'm just saying it's cool we have our own. Oh, hell yeah. No, I can it's, leave it's stuff. Wonderful. I leave stuff here every day, and I come, and it's just my studio. I like it. It makes me feel good. I don't like the, the hipster, hey, we're all going to be in the same room. A desk wouldn't get me back to the office. Amen. An office would get me back to oh. the office where I can decorate it with posters and I can close the door and have my privacy well, and Case do all my things in there. Superior. I don't know if you know this about Case, but he he really likes to be able to look down on people. So I could definitely see him wanting a door to close. Mm -hmm. That's a good view, looking down on people. Yes. <laughs> I think more like he just wants his bedroom at work. <laughs> yeah. he, want, he wants his posters up. I agree with that. If I want work to look like a little home, that's why the desk would be cool for me. Case's office would be such a trap because you'd be like, oh, what's that? And then you'd get stuck there for 45 minutes when he tells you an end-up story about a band that he listened to before anybody else listened to. You'd be like, wow. I just want to drop this fax off. <laughs> <laughs> I missed lunch. This sucks. So Modest Mouse started in 1994. Oh, oh, let yeah. me tell you about every intricacy they've had along the way, all their lineup changes. He's going to have one of those buttons that locks the door, but like you'd almost prefer it was for the other yeah, I, do that. <laughs> I have the Matt Lauer lock. Where he's like, I'm going to trap this woman. But I think yours is worse. I'm like, get me out. <laughs> and then the fly to the spider. That's right. <laughs> the Brian and Kenzie Show. Brian and Kenzie on Q101 before we leave the fact completely of the day where offices are starting to get you to come back to work by offering you a cool desk in your own area. Um, a lot of people are talking about that open environment that screwed up offices the last five years for the most part because management thought 
It was a great idea because they copied internet companies like Google and Facebook. We have this big open area. It's a party in here. But at the end of the day, people want a little bit of privacy in their own space. And Bri- Brian checked in from 847 said, we moved from a cubicle to that open environment. Hate it. People constantly walking behind me and it's loud. Hate it with a lot of A's he put in there. Oh, I could not. If somebody was walking behind me, listen, what I Google during the day is my business. And do I have a shopping tab open? No, just to check in to see if things went on sale. Yes. You know. I deserve a little privacy. Yeah, people just in general, doesn't matter trends or culture. At the end of the day, all of us want a little bit of privacy. And that desk they're offering, woo, sounds pretty awesome. There's okay. also, there's something humiliating about making phone calls in front of other people. I had to call Brian on Tuesday, and I did it when I was walking down Michigan Avenue. And it was embarrassing. Well, you're passing a lot of, it's loud, and you're passing a lot of people. Why that's why that? it was embarrassing. Oh, my goodness. And I also thought something was wrong, because Case never calls. We text each other. Yeah, I, I mean, but I needed something free, so I called you. So, oh. uh, he did. Did you get it, by the way? I did not. Oh. What, what was it? Uh, my brother. <laughs> 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 he asked me if my brother could get him on the architecture boat cruise tour, and oh. I, I think it might have been a little late to ask. I don't know. Well, my girlfriend's mom is in town, and she wanted to go do it, and, and Brian's he- brother Steve is an excellent host on the architecture tour, so we wanted to do a tour with Steve. He's not doing it, so I bought them tickets for Friday so that they can hopefully have a nice mother-daughter experience because they don't have a lot of those. Why didn't um, Why didn't you plan ahead? Like, I didn't, I didn't know they wanted to do it until Tuesday. Yeah, uh-huh. and, and then Steve plans his trips out. He's out of town, I think, like long ways in advance. He can get you on the boat if he's doing it, but if he's not doing oh, he the tour. He can get you on the boat. We all know you. that. Yeah, get Steve you on that. can get you on the boat. That's right. Um, um, can I just say that we get a lot of guesses, right, to the when fact? you do the fact. Yeah. We get so many guesses, and it takes me a while to answer all of them, so I'm scrolling through, and the the <laughs> the question was, what are offices doing to try to get people to come back, right? Yeah, come back in the office. Ivan said cocaine and hookers. Well, <laughs> that's the Justin Timberlake <laughs> theory. Yeah. No I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Like, whoop a Wall Street over yeah. here. That's incredible. No, sorry. It's desks. <laughs> Probably depends on the work environment, but the workplace. Well, that's uh, what CPS is offering. Yeah. <laughs> Not good. Frank checked in, um, says, I have my own desk office in Rosemont because I manage six people. I hardly use it because I'm in the field with techs at the corporate office in McHenry. I still miss Shoeless Joe's when I look out the window when I'm in Rosemont. (laughs) That was a great sports bar over there. Whenever you go to a a show at the Rosemont Horizon, uh, Shoeless Joe's, uh, (laughs) he misses seeing it. I can imagine just sitting there, you're at work, and you're just dreaming about eating chicken wings, right? Well, Looking at the place. Well, daydream about, like, a beach vacation. She's like, man, I wish you could go to Shoeless Joe's. Oh, Shoeless Joe's was so good. Oh, well. Uh, uh, a lot. So a lot of people have these different situations of, of work, and will desk get you back? Hey, we don't know anything about it, but uh, it's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. We have Gil Curtis with your headlines on the way. Remember, the NASCAR Chicago Street Race tickets coming up at 710 and Clash with Kenzie. We'll get you on the phones. You'll also see the Black Keys Uh, during that July 4th weekend. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Not only with those NASCAR tickets, just a reminder, 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock, put that in your phone right now. For Third Eye Blind tickets, Ticket Buds Thursday launches at 8 o'clock. In the meantime, right now, Gil Curtis comes in, as always, with your headlines of the day. This is not headline news. Summer officially arrives today. You can tell it's the first day of summer because Target stores just put up their Halloween displays. There was a break-in at the Brady Bunch house on Tuesday. Here's the story. Here's the story. No, there's no time for that. The feels like temperature in New York yesterday was over 100 degrees. Also hitting triple digits in New York yesterday, Justin Timberlake's blood alcohol level. A new study found San Francisco is the worst-run city in the United States. The study was conducted by someone who's never been to Oakland. And today is West Virginia Day. The booms you'll hear later tonight aren't fireworks. They're the festive sound of meth lab explosions. This is not headline news. Brian and Kenzie in the morning. And Chicago's alternative all day. Q101.